I'm missing my baby girl 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 Missing my baby. Four year old Athena Brownfield went missing on what is believed to have been January 6th. You ask why it is only believed? Well, apparently, her caregivers left Athena and her five year old sister in the house alone for what could have been possibly days. But it is unclear about the exact number of days. This is a bizarre breaking case about a four year old little Oklahoma girl that is still missing and the small town that is desperately hunting for her. Join me in the murder she shed as we discuss this case, and my name is Holly. Surreal, Oklahoma is a small town about 26 miles northeast of Lawton, Oklahoma. And from Lawton, and have drove through Surreal many times and was surprised after looking it up that the town had around 1,059 residents. I honestly thought it was a bit smaller than that. It looks small when you drive through. There's not much in the town at all. A postal worker discovered Athena's five-year-old sister, Adina, wandering alone near their home in Surreal, Oklahoma, around 2 p.m. January 6. Adina said she was hungry and didn't know where anyone was, and that included not knowing where Athena was. The postal worker contacted authorities who quickly learned that Athena was missing, as well as the children's caregivers who were nowhere to be seen. Athena and her sister lived with family members of their biological mom. Apparently, Bao Mom had ran off with the two girls a year and a half ago, and their Bao Dad had no contact with them since. I do know the Bao Mom and Dad's name, but as of now, don't feel comfortable releasing their names since they were not even involved in the circumstances of Athena going missing. Well, the girls lived with caregivers who were said to be related to the Bao Mom. The female caregiver was arrested, and her name is Alicia Adams. She has been arrested for two counts of child neglect at this point. But they have taken evidence, which they're not calling evidence, but they've taken stuff out of Adams' residence. And also, the SUV has been towed away from the residence. So, they have taken evidence that they're not calling evidence. Let's say that. <laughs> so, additional charges could be made soon. Alicia Adams was going through a separation from her husband, Ivan Adams. Ivan Adams was arrested the next day and is being held on a fugitive of justice charge because he was in Phoenix, Arizona when the girls were left alone. The crime of being a fugitive from justice occurs when you flee to another state or country with the intent to do the following. Try to avoid prosecution or prison for a felony or attempted felony charge, which makes me think Alicia may be talking. Alicia and Ivan had four children together and then were caregivers to Athena and her sister. So there were six children living in the Adams home. So there are two sides of the story that's actually being told. So, I will tell you the info I have heard, but as of this time, neither story can be stated as fact. Alicia's family are saying that the girl lived with a couple and there was no custody order in place. Alicia left a week ago and nobody knows where she is. So, later on, they found her staying with her boyfriend in the city, Oklahoma City. According to the family, all six children were with her husband. This is according to Alicia's family. Saturday, Ivan showed up in Arizona with his four kids and told all of Alicia's family that the other two girls were dropped off with their other grandparent. The post lady was delivering mail when Adina walked out crying and said she was hungry and couldn't find her sister. The mail lady stepped in the house, found there was no adult, and contacted authorities. The authorities contacted the owner of the house, which is another local family member, and he told them who actually lived in the house, which was Alicia and Ivan Adams. So they contacted Alicia, and she stated she left all kids with her husband, and she didn't leave them by herself when she went to be with her boyfriend. According to Alicia's family's authority located the husband in Arizona with his kids, it's the four biological kids. And like I said, he said they were dropped off with the grandparents. They are also saying that Athena is not autistic as media is reporting that she's just super quiet and shy. This is Alicia's TikTok. Alicia and her new boyfriend have taken down their Facebooks, but a few images were captured. It does show that she was in the Moore area at least after Athena was missing. There are no actual dates on the post, so it's not clear. Moore is only an, about an hour's drive from Surreal. As of now, there has not been any charges against the new boyfriend, so I have blocked his name out. 
Ivan Adams is saying he left Athena and Adina with Alicia when he went to Phoenix. So of now, it is unclear if she went missing when they were still living in the house together or if they were abandoned by one of the individuals and then went missing. But with Adina being found alone in the house, hungry, I would think that they had both been abandoned and then Athena went missing. Why would they leave only Adina alone if Athena had already been maybe injured? I hate to say it, but, you know, she might have been injured. So that's how I'm going to say it rather than the other because I'm not going to think that negative. Why would Adina have been alone in the house? I would have thought that if they were going to abandon one, it would have been both of them. Ah, My head is just spinning with the theories on this case. It's so confusing. But I do pray she is found alive and unharmed, but it has been a week since anyone has even seen Athena. Did someone else see Athena wandering around like Adina and maybe she got kidnapped? Oklahoma and federal law enforcement have been searching for her. The whole community in Surreal have come together to search as well. The town of Surreal postponed all trash pickup in order for them to search the trash, but they are still hunting for Athena as if she is alive. An Amber Alert was not issued because the circumstance surrounding Athena's disappearance did not meet the specific guidelines required. The OSBI has asked anyone with a doorbell camera or surveillance camera to come to Family Life Church so law enforcement can look at the video. The agency also urges Sorrell residents to search their properties. I do pray that Athena is found alive, but the statistics are the longer she is missing, the less likely that is the case. Athena, the sister, did not require medical care and currently is in protective custody with the state. They have been doing sonar search and have also been searching with dogs. Athena is described by authorities as being three foot tall and 45 pounds with light brown hair and blue eyes. She is believed to have been recently wearing a butterfly hoodie. I have been so worried about Athena since I am an Oklahoman. It makes the case more dear to my heart. It really breaks my heart. The little girls were abandoned by their biological mom then abandoned by their caregivers. I mean, maybe both of them should be charged. I know that it's just like in a possible case because maybe one of the caregivers didn't have any idea that the other person would abandon them. I mean, it's such a mystery at this point. And did something happen to her? Did somebody hurt her, the last person that abandoned her? Or did they hurt Athena together? What happened to the little girl? Where is she at? Oh, it's just horrible. I want that little girl to be found, but I'm worried that she's not going to be found alive. So the mystery goes on. Okay, guys, I will update you guys on this case. So if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for any new updates. And also go to my channel, Murder She Shed, and check out some of my rarely told true crime videos. I love you guys. Y'all are all the best subscribers ever. I hope you all have a blessed week. Probably no bloopers today. This was just a quick case update. And I hope that she is found soon. Love y'all. Bye. I guess I could let you see Simo though. It wouldn't hurt that. He waits on the back porch. And then he knows I'm going to call his name. And he's sitting there laying on the back porch of my house. There he is. There's a little jump. Tell him up. Tell him bye. Hey, you be, don't be rude. Tell him bye. Say bye. I love y'all. Say bye. I love y'all. Don't be rude. Don't be a rude boy. There we now we're too low. There comes Max, too. Max is coming to tell everybody bye to all of you. But Max is back here, too, behind time. And they both tell y'all bye, and they love y'all. I miss my baby, girl. Missing my baby girl, my girl.